Hi there, welcome back to my math channel, Math Web. Let us start question number 5 from Pearson at Excel A level exam for Pure Math 1. This exam is taken in October 2023. Paper reference code is WMA 11 slash 01. Let me read the statement of this question. Figure 2 shows the plane view of a frame for a flat roof. The shape of the frame consists of a triangle ABD joins the triangle BCD. Given that BD equals to X, CD equals to 1 plus X, BC equals to 5 angle BCD equals to theta. Show that cosine theta is equal to 13 plus x over 5 plus 5x. For the first part, we need to find the value of cosine theta. In this triangle B, C, D or A, B, C, A, angle is theta. If we use the small triangle B, C, D, we can apply the law of cosine. You should memorize the formula for law of cosine. This one is the formula cosine A is equals to, for example, if this is side A, angle is A, the opposite side is always uh, small A, opposite to angle B is small B and opposite to angle C is small C. If here is angle A, the opposite side will be the small A for sure, this will be small A. Just, this is just only for information how we will apply the law of cosine. And uh, these two sides are called the adjacent sides AB and AC are the adjacent sides. Now we want to find cosine A, angle A. We use, we take the square of the adjacent sides B square plus C square and um, we subtract the square of the opposite side to that angle and divide by two times the product of the adjacent sides B and C. So this is the formula you have to use in this case. Now you have to consider this triangle BCD, in this triangle BCD, in triangle BCD cosine theta will be equals to according to the law of cosine. We take the sum of squares of the adjacent sides, here adjacent sides are 5 and 1 plus x and opposite side in this triangle of uh, to this angle theta is x. We take the square of these adjacent sides, it will be 1 plus x whole square plus square of 5, these two sides are the adjacent sides, so we will add the square of these two sides. Then we subtract the square of the opposite side, that is x, so it will be x square. Divide by 2 times adjacent product of the adjacent sides, like product of 1 plus x and 5. Now if you simplify for sure, you will get this result. Expand the bracket, it will be 1, square is 1, the product of these two is x and multiply by 2, you will get 2x here and the square of the last value is plus x squared. If you expand the square, we will get this result. Square of 5 is 25 and minus x square. Divide by 5 multiply 2 is 10 into 1 plus x. This x square and minus x square will be cancelled out. 25 and 1 is making 26 and it will be 26 plus 2x divide by 10 into 1 plus x. From in the numerator, 2 is common. So inside the bracket, it left with 13 plus x only. You should check it. 2 multiplied 13 is 26. 2 multiplied x is 2x. Divide by 10 into 1 plus x. Simplifying these two, you get the result as 13 plus x over. So here we have 5 because in the denominator, we want to uh, to apply this product 5 inside the bracket. So it will be 5 plus 5x for sure. So this is cosine theta and we get as required. What is uh, the requirement of the question? We proved it as required. So first part is done. Hopefully you understand it. For next part, given also that x is 2 square root 3, angle BAC is 30 degrees and angle ADC is a straight line, ADC, it is not angle, it is a straight line, ADC is a straight line in the figure, this ADC, yes, it is a straight line. Find the area of triangle ABC, giving your answer in square meters. First of all, let me tell you the formula of finding the area of a triangle, any triangle. This is the formula, 1 over 2 times AB, AB are the adjacent sides here, in this case, sine theta, A and B are the adjacent sides the sides that that contains the angle theta got it by using this formula we could find the area of a triangle but we need to find the area of triangle the big triangle abc this angle 
is A and it is given in the next part that is equals to 30 degrees. BAC is 30 degree. This angle theta could be found from the previous part from here. If you substitute the value of x in this equation, we will get the value of theta. First of all, let me find the value of theta by using the value of x in this equation. Cosine theta is equals to 13 plus value of x is 2 square root 3 divided by 5 plus 2 square root. Sorry, uh, it is 5 again. 5 plus 5 into 2 square root 3. 2 square root 3, that's it. Now you need to find value of theta. You will take the inverse of the right hand side. Cosine inverse, whatever the answer is, this one. You can write as is in your calculator and get the answer for this. Make sure your calculator should be in degree mode because angles are given in degrees. 5 multiplied 2 is 10 square root 3. Solve it, you will get the answer for it as 42.5 degrees. 42.5 degrees. Now let's go back to the figure. So this angle is 42.5 degrees. In big triangle, because as per rule of uh, finding the area, two sides should be given A and B and the angle between them should be known, okay, to find the area. But here we have angle, this side is given only, the other two sides are missing. So you have to figure out the value of either AB or AC. Oh, got it? So first of all, let me find the missing angle here. You know the third angle could be found by using the law, basic law of uh, angles in triangle is 180 degrees. If two angles are given, third angle could be found. You could find angle A, B, C by using this fact that we subtract the given two angles from 180 like 30 plus 42.5 if you subtract them from 180 you will get the angle ABC 107.5 degrees so this is our angle now we have all three angles BC is given and the uh, easiest way you could find this side AB because uh, you could use the law of sines now let me find the value of AB by using law of sines by law of sines, we could find value of AB. What is the law of sine AB over sine angle opposite to this one AB. Opposite to angle uh, side AB is 42.5. You will write here 42.5. Now we will take this side BC that is 5 divide by the angle opposite to this side is sine 30. 5 over sine 30, if you write in your calculator, you will get the answer as 10 for sure. This answer is 10. Sine 30 is 1 over 2, 2 goes up, so it will be 10. Even mentally you can do this. Now in the next step, this will multiply by 10. So value of AB will be equals to 10 times sine 42.5, 42.5 degrees. Now the side AB is found. Side AB is 6.76. Actually, your answer in your calculator is the 6.7559. We will round it up. After 75, there is a 5 or more than 5. We will round it up. So, it will be 6.76. Side AB is found as well. Now, you need to find the area because now sides are given. These two sides are given and we can use this angle. This AB is 6.76 and this side is 5 and angle between them is 107.5. Uh, we can easily find the area for a triangle ABC area of triangle ABC will be equal to 1 over 2 times side AB multiply side BC multiply sine angle 107.5 angle B plug in the values AB is there BC is there let me go back to the question BC is 5 and AB is 6.76 1 over 2 multiply 6.76 is AB, BC is uh, 5 multiply sine 107.5. So this will be the required area. I solve it by using calculator, you will get the answer. Calculator is giving the answer 16.1178, but we need to write our answer to one decimal place. So answer will be 16.1 square meter is the required area for this question. 
So question number five is done. If you have any question or any doubt in this question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.